Alright, so. He's painting. You don't have to put that on. You don't have to put that on. You're gonna use the rope grab. And I'm gonna clip my way up. This yellow thing right here. So climb up a few steps. All right, that's good. You're gonna attach this to your top. All right, so now, if you put your arm through underneath or vice versa, so, oh wait, take it back up. Yeah, now you can grab that. If you go, as you climb up, no, I mean like, as you climb up, keep it above your arm, yeah. As you climb up, it's just gonna follow you every time you go up. I know it's a little uncomfortable. Yeah. You could try it that way, you could try it the other way around. Or, I mean, I usually like to climb on the corner. It makes it easier for me, yeah. but uh, up to you. Yep, no. Jesus. God, it's rain. Yeah, it sucks ass. Yeah, it does. All right, so no, clip that back in. Okay. Clip that back in. Wait until I get up there. We got time. The crane's not anywhere near us. That's why I wanted to come up right now. Okay. So go ahead and uh. Step onto this side. So put your other lanyard, not the one that that's attached to. This one. Oh shit. You still got the, yeah, yeah. So you can take that off because you still got the rope grab on. Yep. And put it on the side right here. Yeah, step around. Should I take this off yet? Yeah, you can take that off. Okay. And how do I keep it from going all the way down without me? It's not going to slide anywhere. I'll just keep it. You're going to come up to this top uh -huh. rung. You're going to put your positioner around this. Alright. Uh, it's So what? Position on the top. Yeah. 
Okay, so now you can relax. Go ahead, take that second, sh uh, take the strap out. And just hold on to the strap. And I'll show you how we put it on. So you can lean back now. Have faith in this. Let go of that hand. Yep. Grab that strap. No, no, no. Just take it off. Take that strap off. Yeah, you can hook that back onto your side. So, you're going to come under the first one, right? Uh-huh. Now, I'm going to feed about half to you. So, we're doing the same thing on both sides. And then you're going to come back in between the two. Yep. And then you're going to come up right here, right? So, we're going to make sure this is flat on the bottom. It's flat. Yep. yep. Come back in between the two. You can just drape it over for right now. That's what the uh, crane is going to be attached to. So just underneath, back between the two uh, rectangle blocks, and then on the opposite sides, on the outside of that header block. Right now, um, we'll just wait on this crane. Go ahead. I usually would say photo op time, but I'm not pulling my phone out right now in this rain. No, I'm just fucking rubber. Yeah, so. I wish we could, though. I didn't want to get photo on the phone. That'd be alright. Yeah, there'll be more. Yeah, more opportunities. So I'm gonna climb all the way to the top before I look into my heart celebration. But now you're up here, it's not that bad. I felt the sway, that's all it was. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna sway, but it's steel. Yeah. It's heavy as steel. I mean, it's just like a condo that's with me, you know? Yeah. It sways, but it's not going nowhere. And now you see what the, the chain was doing on the opposite end now. And that was these right here, these wheels. Yep. Yes. Chains go over, back down, attaches. That's what pulls the roof up. So now that they knock those pins out underneath, this crane is about to take away that first tower. That was more of my brother's thing. Oh yeah. Now we're here. Let me get a view of you. This is uh Connor, our trainee, yeah. not trainee, kind of trainee. He's he's rigged before, just not with us. So now he's getting a, a taste of how Rhino does it. I thought I was stage handy, day boss. Hey man. Look, you up. never know. You never know. You never do until you're 60 feet up. When you're rigging trainee, you can get pulled at any time. People don't show up, guess what? You get thrown on the call. They Chris said somebody didn't show up. Either. Yeah. So, you know, you snooze, you lose. And yep. there's trainees waiting to hop in. And you're one of them. Yeah, how does racetrack have gas? Is that high up? This man is a fool. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, of course, when we put this on the crane it's going to take tension so you want to make sure this is not behind it because then it'll be kind of hard to get your your strap out at that point so you can kind of just like push it to the side because this is going to be centered so have you had it before where it fucking put it on the side and then it was just 
caddy wampus the whole way? I mean, they'll caddy a little bit sometimes, but I mean, it's, it's not gonna go nowhere. The momentum, bro. Yeah. It wouldn't help? I just need to when I got back to the court. Oh, yeah. So I'll give you a quick crash course on how to signal a crane. This is up with your entire arm. This is down with your entire arm. Given, you know. This means boom down. So he's gonna bring his arm down. So let's say he's right here. We want him to come further out. We'll boom him down. The arm is gonna swing down, meaning the pendulum is gonna move. This is boom up, meaning the arm is gonna go up. Same thing, the arm goes up, the pendulum moves further away from us. Um, you don't really need to do these, that's extend. And yeah, so um, we don't really need that one. He's gonna mostly keep that same extend and then we just boom him closer, boom him further away type shit. Yep, boom up. And when you do it, make sure you do it away from your body. Because sometimes if you do it in front of you, it blends in. Uh, he can't really see it. So make sure you do it away. And then if you're going to do it, do big arm signals. Don't do tiny hands. Chance out he doesn't see that. And if you do this or this, that means very slowly. So if you go like this or just this, he'll know to like bring it down very slow and not like at a fast pace where you can't catch it um usually what we like to first do is just we'll get a little higher and we'll just stick our arm up and he'll try to just match the ball closer to our arm if it's touching our arm then it's basically over a center but if it's just close in the gen general area then we'll just direct him from there okay so we let him kind of get the ball rolling first and then we'll get him closer so when he lands that we're up we're gonna hook it in, then we're gonna tell him to come up a little bit, slowly, until it takes tension. And once it takes tension, then we'll go down. We do that because if it's not taking tension and they knock out those pins, the truss is just gonna yeah. drop. So we wanna take tension to it, even if they knock out the pins, it's kinda just floating right there, so. As soon as they knock out those R clips and land that truss, we're up. Um, I usually like to like stand to where my head is above the header block. I'm just leaning back right now, but I'm about to reposition myself and get a little higher. 
uh, I'll show you what I mean. Don't hook it right there. Okay. You want your um, hook to be able to fall flat. So yeah, just the lowest one next. Or you have short lanyards, huh? Yeah. If you take another step up, it won't. It won't. It'll stretch. No. Like if you're right there, you take another sh step up. This is as uh, long as I can go. Tension. Okay. Yeah. You can stand up right there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I like to be up here. Oh. So wait, I can yeah. see the crane being centered. So yeah, we'll just put our arm up. You know, I don't know per se. I mean, of course that probably lifts heavier and it's double reeve, so the, the momentum is slower versus the single hook. I mean, the single line yeah. instead of two lines. I think it, a lot more it think, I think it pulls more power because it's doubled. So I can see right now that he's not looking. So I'm not even going to put my arm up. I'll wait until he's looking at us. So now he's turning. I'm going to put my arm up. So watch your head in case he is wild. Look up. No, seriously, look up. The, the ball is right by you. Connor, look up. Thank you. I do not want to be responsible when this ball knocks you in the head. Okay. You. I'm going to bring him down a little bit with my arm. He's still swinging, so I already know it's going to probably, probably settle. Uh, there, right? Yeah, so this right here. So now, so this is where he's sitting. So, I mean, he's kind of spot on. It can always boom out a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, this is kind of center. So remember, put your things to the side. Alright, so that is enough tension. It's not going to drop, so at that point we're done. Uh, take your positioner off. And then keep your lanyard on, swing around to the side, put that rope grab back on. Once you put the rope grab on, you can take your lanyard off. And then uh, we'll make our way down. Watch it beam between your legs. Yep. You don't even have to put that on right now. Just a... Oh, yeah. You're right. Bend over a little bit. Or if you can get a little any lower. Are you talking right there? I'll put it on you, yeah. So, yeah, you can take your lanyard off now. Now, with the rope grab, uh -huh. I'll show you. You want to squeeze it like this. Squeeze it up, and then you got to push it down. That's how you, get, you release it going down. Okay, so squeeze it up. That's how it moves down? Yep. And you gotta push it down every time you go down. Good. Or it's gonna stay above you. Ready? Remember, the tower is slippery. Take your time going down. It's not a race. Our part is done.
That silver thing is fucking me up. Why? Why? Why is this backwards? Holy f Hold on. Tell him I'm not off the tower. <sighs> you, good, you good, Travis? Yeah. Um, you sure? That wasn't very convincing. Yeah, it was just <laughs> it's switching halfway every time I step down a oh, section. Gotcha. So I'm used to like stepping right here, and the next section oh, down, right. I'm stepping on a diag. I'm like, yeah. why? <laughs> hey, Mitch. You're good to pop our clips and pins. 